Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I really really wanted to do a hot girl glam, hair and makeup glam to last you the whole day, tips and tricks that I use, I would recommend, I just feel like we all need to share our tips and tricks and everything how to last all day because, I mean we really need it, you know, it's hot in these streets, it is hot in the UK um, and it's summer, you know, so yeah, I will be sharing my tips and tricks, if you're interested uh, interested in this video, please, please, please keep watching, I'm going to tell you a trip on a little new trick I've learned on my hair. This is a sponsored video by the Renatural Wig Fix, so stay tuned for what I have to say about that, and I'll catch you guys in the video. Love you guys. Hey guys, um, sorry if my voice is a bit different. Uh, I've got a cold. My cold is low-key starting to go away. Sorry if I cough or anything. Like, earlier this week, I literally couldn't get through a sentence without coughing. It was very, very annoying. So yeah, if my voice, <laughs> here we go. <coughs> If a voice bothers you, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video. First, we're just going to talk about what's on my head because ooh, what's on my head? Let me just take this off. You guys are going to see my raggedy ass braids. It's okay. Because it's summer, okay, and because a bitch doesn't really like to put glue on my head, I don't like my frontal lifting, my closures lifting, anything lifting, I've been using the wig fix. This is what it looks like by the Renatural. <clears throat> So basically what this is, it's a silicone gripper, basically a replacement of like got to be, whatever you use to like make sure your wig stays down. Making it just like more easier and comfortable, especially for summer, like I've just really not been into wearing wigs, gluing down wigs, I haven't been into, I've just been basically using my natural hair, but if I really want to like switch up my look and go for something longer, I just put this wig on like so. And what I do is I push, you're supposed to wear it behind your hairline. My hairline is just so, uh, that even if I push it back, because my forehead's so big, um, it won't, I can't get it all the way behind my hairline, so I just push it to about here. And it's tight, but it's not like this is going to be very uncomfortable tight. You know, like, unless I like, uh, elastic band when I get too tight? Yeah, it's kind of like that. I'll just get my wig, whatever wig I've got. I'm gonna style this and like, once I've done with my makeup. I'm gonna push it back. And then you put the wig in front. Sorry, if the head, if the wig looks like it's far off my head, ignore that because we're gonna fix it. So the only con I'd actually have to say about that is, if you're putting the wig fix on your head, make sure your hair is very, very flat. Like, braid it really, really flat. Um, because it will be unforgiving if your braid or your hair is bulky underneath and you have the wig fix on top. Um, it's not that thick where um, it will show over your... Um, it will literally make your front hair look like it's off your head. Like, this isn't properly down my head. I need to sort of fix it. This wig I made, like, years ago. I've had this for years. So I'm going to fix that later. So I would personally wear this with closure wigs, um, not really frontal, because obviously frontal you'll still need to glue it down, you know what I mean? And also, if you wanted, you could actually put foundation on your silicone. I don't really need to because I can just put concealer or whatever on top. I'd rather put it on the um, actual head, but you can put it on the silicone and then wash off later because it's like basically plastic. So yeah. We're going to put this on my head, put my hair back because I don't really like doing my hair until I finish with my makeup when it comes to like wigs and stuff. So, we've got our wig fix on our head. You know, this shit ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I've done my brows. Sorry if you can hear noise in the background. I've had to leave my window a little bit open just because it's so humid inside. So, okay, the first tip I'm going to let everyone know is you need to powder your face. Um, I use translucent powder. That's what works for me. Um, I'm pretty sure anything you guys use for powder or baking can work for you guys as well because we're going to be going over it with foundation anyway. So I'm going to be taking Laura Mercier translucent. I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to take any fluffy brush you have. This is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush, but you can use it for powder as well. And then just put it anywhere I get woolly, which is quite a lot of places. <laughs> All around here, my eyes. I need to take away that shine. <clears throat> Taking away that shine. I really wish I could play music whilst doing my makeup, because that's what I do on a normal basis. So... 
eliminating that shine. My face is moisturized. If you want to know my skincare routine, I will link it down below. And I'll just put an extra amount around my nose because I really get oily around here and my chin. And then for foundation, I would use either, uh, I would use a NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. However, the shade I've got in this is Tahoe and Tahoe doesn't match me as well as the um, Moria sh shade matches me. They're pretty much similar, but I like the undertones better with um, the Sheer Glow Foundation Moria. I, I really hope I'm saying this correctly. But I would use this one, but it doesn't matter. It's about how you apply your foundation and the techniques to make it last all day. So I'm not gonna be using that one, but I would recommend that one. So I'm not gonna take that much. If it's a hot day, I don't really want a cake face. Yeah. So I'd, say, I'd honestly take about two pumps and then take any, I love these type of, is it like a kabuki dense type of brush to blend my foundation recently. This is a Luxie Round Top Blender Brush. But yeah, I just feel like this matches me perfectly and because I've got the translucent, ooh, translucent, translucent powder underneath, um, I want something that really, really matches me on top. I, I, like, I like a lot of foundations, but um, I just feel like either they oxidize or the match isn't perfect. And because I just don't, I want, I want a little bit, I don't want to have to feel like I need to blend everything. So just make sure you've got a foundation that really, really matches you perfectly. Oh, my throat, man. <coughs> I was on the phone today to my friends and they were like, oh yeah, I love your voice. I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, I like it. it sounds good and it sounds husky. I'm so, like, mm, I'm not a fan. I think it's because of what it comes with, you know? I can't even sing. Like, high notes? I can't even do any high notes. I mean, I couldn't do high notes anyway, but like, I really, really can't do high notes. Anyway, okay. <coughs> uh, uh, you know, I just feel like there's something at the back of my throat. But yeah, I like foundations that don't feel too matte on my face. Um, and I like foundations like the Sheer Glow, which after a while of wearing it, it just looks better and better if you, after you give it like a few hours. So as well with having like like long wearing makeup, I'd suggest using as little products as you can. Uh, don't put too much. Uh, try to stick to products that are more powdery and then obviously spritz out. If you have powder, it just tends to look better and better as the day goes by rather than cream products. Sometimes it, sometimes it moves around. So with that being said, I'm just going to go to concealer first and then we're going to go to powder and bronzer. So for concealer, concealer I've been really, really loving, guys. Loving. Is the Oma Beauty Stay Work Concealer. Love this. My shade is Bronze Venus T3. So yeah, this way good. <clears throat> I also have the foundation. The foundation is also good. However, I do find it oxidizes on me. So like I said, I don't like to have to blend with foundations. I feel like it will be a good winter shade, even though it does oxidize, but I can like make it be and obviously uh, I, can, I, can, I can finesse it. I, I definitely did when I went to Amsterdam, I tried it out, but I feel like I needed to do more and I don't like doing more, you know? So anyway, going with the concealer, which I do love, love, love. I love the undertone, I love everything. I'm just gonna go in the areas that need like brightening, which is around my mouth. It's just got that perfect yellow, golden undertone that I need, but we are gonna still highlight. So this is just concealer, but we are gonna highlight around my nose. And I love the dome applicator. I just love dome applicators. And then I'm gonna mix it in with my highlight color, which I really, really like. <clears throat> Cause this is quite close to my skin tone. So I do want a little bit of a brightening effect. So I'm gonna go in with my trusty Born This Way multi use Sculpting Concealer, love this. If you like full coverage, you'll love this. It's just, it's not my shade. So I just use the highlight cause I still like it. This is in the shade Golden Beige. And this has also got a dome applicator, which I love. And I just put that underneath my eyes just for a brightening effect and then I'm gonna go in using the Morphe sponge I really really like this sponge they've got two different ones don't get the one that's too hard and it's for like contouring and highlighting don't get that that's too hard that's too dense you're not supposed to use it to a blend I believe but the actual sponge is nice and soft and bouncy I blend everywhere where I don't need a highlight just yet and let the concealer just sit work its magic and become more full, 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 full coverage. Don't know why I said it like that. And then we go in. I put, I like to put it all over my eye. 
because we're going to use eyeshadow like like a little a little bit so then i like to go straight in with my powder the same one laura mercier i just feel like this powder is just so so good so good like i don't even prime my face anymore because i feel like i don't need to if i use this powder underneath my foundation and on top the oil will really be minimal and i push it in as well and then i bake leave it on there for a sec not too long but for a minute then I do dust it off okay now time for the eyes I like using a bronzer shade when I just don't really want to use too much product this is Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. I'm going to use it all over my face and also my eyes. Like I said, I don't like using too many cream products, so I'll just skip contour and go straight to bronzer. Just to give me more definition and warmth back to the face. I like to push my bronzer to my brows. Let me use a smaller brush. So for my nose, I like to just push it to my brows, you know, <clears throat> and then also take it to my crease. So look down in the hollows of your eye, just push it. This isn't really for like hot girl, like summer, but it's like kind of hot girl because it's the look, you know? And then a blush palette that I've absolutely been loving, I can't even express, is the um, Morphe 8W blush palette. Look at these blushes. It's, it's got everything you need. So I just wish it had a mirror. That's the only thing, I just wish I had a mirror. But it's all lovely. I'm gonna go in with MUA on the eyes, so as on the crease shade. So it's got a nice rosy brown, brown tone, brown pink tone color I really like for the eyes. Cause it's not too harsh, you know? I wanna look like a hot girl, you know? Cute, like who's that? I'm gonna talk to her. And then I'm just gonna go in with Beat and Witty, just all over my eyes, all over the lids. These shades are stunning. So yeah, I'm just gonna push that all over the lids. And then, because I really, really like MUA, I'm also gonna put that on my water waterline at the bottom, because it's just, like I said, it's a brown shade, but it's not too harsh. Sorry for the changing lights, I feel like my camera just picking up different colors one day I look orange and I look white I just uh, don't know okay because I'm really really obsessed with this palette I'm also gonna go in with babe in the inner corner this shade just a just for a pop I feel like it's a highlight and a blush palette you know I'll be using a tapered blending brush this is a Morphe M33 O very cute So then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Lash Sensation by Maybelline Mascara. Um, this never budges, this, I never get fallout with it or anything, so this is very good for a long day out. I don't know if you can see, but I've got like one eyelash that just refuses to go. So if you see one long eyelash, just no. It's one of my individuals that just does not want to leave. And then also I'm going to be using eyeliner, and this is the Cleopatra Ink eyeliner from Uma Beauty, from Oma Beauty, sorry. This is a blackety black y'all eyeliner. I can't say y'all, I can't. It just sounds, sounds natural. But I'm just gonna use a thin eyeliner. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. I think I closed it properly once, incorrectly one time. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I can make this work. I just want like a thin, oh God. So then I'm going to throw on my Tatty Lashes in TL3. You guys know how much I love these lashes. I'm just going to stick them on. Lashes on. I feel like lashes just take me to a different level. I'm sorry. It really does. I love these lashes. They're amazing. I also put them on with the um, glue that it comes with, that Tatty Lashes. Ooh, I love it. It's really, really sticky and it's sticky throughout the day. So it's one of those ones I even at like, let's say three hours later, if it's lifting, I just kind of hold it down and then it should be fine. But I sometimes also bring it with me if I am having a really, really long day and it might lift, but it usually doesn't. Okay, so for blush, 
I am obsessed with provocative from the same palette. Look at it, gorgeous, stunning. I love being able to use a lot of the same shades from the same like palette. Just saves me time, you know? I bring it quite close as well. I quite like that flushed look, you know? Bring it all around. Like my cheeks looking flushed, like putting on my nose, like I've been running. But I haven't been like, I've got a bit of a cold, I like it. I like it. My, my makeup look is very rosy today. So for highlighter, I really like this uh, Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby. So I don't really use Mean Money. I just use Hustler Baby. I really like it on my cheeks. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe M5300 brush. It's quite a big brush, but I just like it just to... Brush out the products. And because it's a powder product, it ends up looking really nice as the day goes on, like I say all the time. So yeah, just building powder products, not making it look too powdery, if you can. <laughs> yeah, and then I like squeezing the brush and then putting it in the center of my nose, up there. Cupid's bow. So for lips, I'm going to be using MAC Cork Lip Liner, my favourite lip liner of all time. Line these boobies. I just feel like lip liners just help your lips, lips, your lip liner last all day. All day. And then I love the MAC Impulsive Lipstick. Stunning, stunning universal nude. I love pinky browns. All over my lips. I feel like I can go a little bit lighter, it's quite dark. Gonna go over it with the Bare Minerals. Uh, Bare Minerals lipstick in, lip gloss, sorry, in Brilliant. Fly Brilliant? I don't know, yeah. In Fly, I think it's Fly. And I'm not putting it all over, just in the center. And then I'm taking Glossier Lip Gloss. Can you see that this is like a sparkly one, like iridescent? Yes, um, this is called Holographic and I'm going to put this on top of this and it's just going to sparkle and glisten. I love putting it on top of nudes. This ain't regular. This ain't a regular beat, it's a hot girl beat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over it with Morphe Continue Mist. Love this stuff as well. Oh, I actually saw, is it um, Jamie Genevieve? She put some shades on and then put on the, um, the spray. Put her shades on and then put her saying spray. So I'm just gonna put my, oh, just to cover my eyes. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna do my hair and then come back to you guys once I'm done, but this is the final look. Hi guys, so I'm back. Uh, this is the final finished hair makeup. I just added water, added some gels to give it like a wet kind of look. <coughs> With the wig, wig fix still in my hair, still intact. This ain't going nowhere. Um, nice and tight. It's such a good alternative for my elastic bands and glue. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, and yeah, and this is the hair and the makeup. It's the makeup I've been doing recently. A lot of you guys have been liking it, so I thought I'd make a video on it. And I, I've worn this in Amsterdam. I've worn this in <coughs> Paris all day, and I've worn this here all day. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Ooh, gosh. And yeah, it's worked for me 100%. I've been, that's why I've been going back to it again and again and again. And I hope you guys really, really like this video. Let me know more videos you want me to do. Comment down below. Comment down your, below your thoughts on the wig fix, the makeup look, what you like, don't like, whatever. You know, I'm interested to hear. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos from me. Love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.